Welcome to the Pulse Workspace Provisioning Screencast. Today we're going to take a look at what it's like to provision an entire workspace using Pulse. Our example today will begin with this new workspace you see here. We have two Java projects checked out from a CVS repository, which you can see listed here in the CVS perspective. We want to make sure that these projects and the CVS repository are associated with our profile, so anyone running this profile will get them provisioned in their workspace automatically. We will also make some modifications to the workspace's preferences that will be associated with this profile as well. So any person that runs this profile not only gets the projects and repositories that were saved with it, but also the preferences that were set, for example, code formatting or compiler preferences. Let's go ahead now and make some quick changes to the general workbench preferences, set a custom code formatting profile, and change our compiler preferences to use Java 5 as the workbench default. You can think of this example we are showing as something a team lead might do when setting up profiles for the team he or she manages. These are all settings that should be made once, and Pulse will continue to enforce them if they are modified or changed by team members that do not have permission to modify them. This will help keep the entire team in sync with one another. Now that our workspace is set up exactly as we want it, we can now save the state of it directly from inside the workbench itself by using the Help Workspace Updates menu. From this dialog, we are able to select the exact projects, working sets, or preferences that we want associated with the profile. You can also update existing profile settings from this dialog as well, making complete profile management dead easy with Pulse. Just set up your workspace however you need it set up, then save its state to your profile and you'll never need to set that workspace up again. Now let's close our workbench and see workspace provisioning with Pulse in action. Now we can relaunch our Eclipse Europa for Java Profile again, selecting a brand new workspace to provision. While we will be provisioning this workspace locally, this is the same process that would occur had you shared this profile with a coworker and they were running it for the first time. Before launching the profile, Pulse will notify us of any updates that need to be performed, giving us a chance to review any of the changes. When prompted, we will enter a brand new directory for the workspace in order to see how Pulse will apply the settings we associated to this profile. After loading our new workspace, Pulse prompts us with the changes that must be applied in order to sync this workspace with the profile settings. When we apply the settings, we are prompted for our CVS credentials in order to check out the appropriate projects from the new repository that was added to our workspace. Let's close this welcome screen and confirm that all the updates for this profile were applied. We see here that our two projects were checked out of our CVS repository correctly. Had we associated working sets or even specific branches of projects from a repository, we would have seen those here as well. This goes for CVS, Subversion, or any other versioning system you might be using. Now let's confirm that our general workbench preferences, code formatting preferences, and compiler preferences were all applied correctly to this workspace. We have confirmed that all the preferences and projects were set correctly. Let's flip over to the CVS perspective and make sure that our repository was loaded into our new workspace as well. Good, we can see that our repository was correctly added to our workspace. That concludes our introduction to workspace provisioning with Pulse. We hope you have found the screencast to be a valuable introduction to using Pulse and will be able to utilize the massive time-saving tools it provides for you and your team. Thank you for watching.